Yeah, I heard that that song, and it sounds awesome. It sounds um, kind of influenced by the bands all of you have been in, but it seems a little bit heavier. What do you think of that? Yeah, you know, that's what I, I, I dig about this, too. It's kind of, you know, the, the everything that we're doing kind of has a modern feel to it, you know, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, uh, you know, we've all got our colorful past and a- accolades that we've accomplished and stuff like that. And, you know, we didn't want to ride off that wave uh, as everybody is proud of what they've done in the past, uh, we didn't want this to be considered like an all-star band or super group. It's just a great lineup of, of guys who have done, you know, some great things in the past with their music careers. And uh, it's all about new music. And, um, yeah, I love the the, the, the the newness of it. And it's a kind of, you know, people ask who haven't heard it. It's like, well, what does it sound like? It's kind of got... You know, a lot of different elements. It's kind of almost like a Velvet Revolver meets, uh, you know, David Bowie. It's got some 70s-ish stuff in there. Uh, but, the, yeah, the, definitely the production and stuff is very, you know, uh, has that modern cutting-edge vibe. Um, but uh, either way, it's going to translate really, really great live, too, because everybody's such a great musician in this band, too. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it definitely appeals to people that have already liked the other bands you all have been in. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting lineup, and uh, I think that there's, there, the excitement factor is that um, with this, Jess, I think there's an, uh, um, everybody's wanting kind of a band to see a band like this that's got a little bit of glamour, a little bit of uh, edginess to it. Uh, with a kind of a you know modern sound, but there's there are those retro elements in there, and uh, I think it's a band that that, that rock has been waiting for uh, 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 that people can get on board with all across, you know. So uh, I think that's why it's catching on so quickly too. So you know it, that's why it's really taken us kind of wow. People are really really digging. Not that we didn't know that this was going to catch on, but uh, like I said, it, it it's been the response has been overwhelming. So um, really much, much more great things to happen in the future for this, yeah. And so do you have a, any kind of ideas or plans for a tour yet? Well, you know, all the business stuff has got to happen now. So now we're going to, um, you know, shop for a booking agent um, and management. And, you know, we're going to keep releasing singles and just create keep creating buzz that we've, we've uh, got coming in right now. Um, so, you know, there's some people that we're going to be talking to about booking the band and stuff, so we're hoping to get that started in the fall. So, um, you know, these things do take time. It's not, you know, the snap of a finger. It's, you know, the, uh, all the business side of the, the, the music uh, that people don't see. So, um uh, but yeah, we're 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 chomping at the bit to you know put a set together and, and go out and play live. It's going to be great. Awesome! I can't wait to see y'all live. Um, have there been any hurdles with this band to overcome so far? No, not at all. That that's been amazing. It's like like I said, a kind of uh, you know I feel like it, for me it was a, a gift that kind of fell in my lap. And you know, um, Chris and Taz have been busting their butt on this for months. And this lineup just kind of came together magically, and um, I, I'm really excited to see how this goes. And, and uh, like I said, it's just it's come together really, really um, I, in a different way. Almost, it's like you know, because sometimes it's like when you do a new project, you put uh, you know, it takes months to put a band together and work up songs and 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 you know stuff like. For example, my Let It Rock um, all-star band. I mean, that took a lot of planning and, and strategy and months, months, and months, and months. I mean, I've had that band for over two years to get where it's at. But uh, this is, like I said, it's, it's I don't know, no, no hurdles. And, and uh, we're excited to see where this goes. But uh, there's, there, I think that you're going to see a lot of really cool things from this band. Awesome. It sounds like you guys work together really well then. Well, it was funny because, you know, when we did the video, it was the first time we were kind of in a room all together. <laughs> and here we are playing to the track and being filmed. 
And it felt really good. It felt totally natural. Everybody really gets along well in this band, and and uh, I think there's a great chemistry between the five of us. And you know, Chris just has so much energy, man. I just love, uh, you know, the vibe off Chris. He's just, you know, he's just got, he's just got this fire, uh, you know, on his feet. And uh, it really comes across when the five of us are in a room. So it's going to be a, a, an amazing band to see live as well. But uh, the music, m- music so far has been just amazing, and we've been recording more music, and um, it's been great. The, the songs are songs are really kicking ass. So, uh, like I said, couldn't be more excited. Yeah. Speaking of music, I also read that um, Taz had what thirteen songs he'd been sitting on. Are any of those going to be on the new album? Um, you know, there's constantly stuff that, you know, they're, they're sending, uh, I mean, we are writing, but, you know, there's stuff that they, they just send me, and I'm like, where did this song come from? Oh, my God, it's amazing. Uh, so, it's like, they're always got, like, these little tricks under their hats, you know? <laughs> so, there's never a dull moment in this, in this band, and I, I love that, too, because it's, it's you know, I think all, it's taken us all by surprise that we're all kind of just giddy inside of uh, just every aspect of Angels and Things. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's great. Yeah, that is great because I know one of the things that can make or break a band is how well the band members get along and how much they're into the band. Well, that's important, too, and it's always important um, to have that chemistry. And when you do have chemistry, uh, you know, that always goes a long, uh, a long, long way. Um, so it's important to, you know, have uh, the right people to work with, uh, and that usually spells uh, longevity for, for any kind of band or any kind of job is if you have the right people in your corner. Yeah, so what is it about the music that they send you that you just like so much and makes all of you so excited about it? Well, like I, like I said, uh, Jess, I, th- I think it's, um, it's, a, it's got a, a different vibe. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we're doing are in different tunings and stuff like that, and that's something I've never really done, um, especially with Rock's Gang and, and L.A. Guns for all those years. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that gives it a different sound tonality and there's a lot of, uh, kind of a different approach with the writing. Um, so that's been, um, uh, very cool to do something, uh, kind of go down a different path. Uh, not so much musically, but creative wise and, uh, mm-hmm. sound wise. So, um, I think all of us are really digging that aspect of it too. So, um, <clears throat> Uh, that that's been re- really really cool and and uh, rewarding as a musician as well. Not 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 that saying that uh, oh that you know the other way I've done for years and years and years isn't because of course it is. I've made some great records, um, but this has just a different vibe, different different uh, kind of uh, an approach too. So uh, I think that translates in the uh, the writing, and you'll hear m- more music as as the months go on. Yeah, I can't wait to hear more music. Um... But yeah, speaking of the new album, like with all the excitement for the band prior to the release of any music, I can imagine this album's going to do great. But what do you think? Well, right now, like I said, you know, the idea is just to kind of keep releasing singles. And uh, I think that what we'd like to do is just cr- keep creating the buzz and, and, and kind of let some labels uh, kind of see that as opposed to taking months and months and months of, of trying to get a record deal or chasing down, you know, maybe an independent deal. Um, you know, we have talked about putting out an EP ourselves and, and stuff, but right now we're just concentrating on, you know, putting a, a great set together to do live and release more singles. Um, and hopefully, you know, in the next half a year or so, we, we'll have a full album. Uh, but that's, that's, the, that's the, the agenda right now. So you guys aren't even signed to a record deal yet? Nope. No. I mean, like I said, the band's only been together for for two months, so... um, That's right. Yeah. But we will. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. Um, Also, vinyl's been making a comeback in the past few years. Uh, What do you think about that? I love it. You know, um, the last album I did with L.A. Guns, uh, Hollywood Forever... Um, which was produced by Andy Johns. Um, 
dearly departed Andy Johns, um, yeah. who produced uh, Zeppelin and the Stones and Van Halen and all, all just amazing decades of making records. Uh, the label, Cleopatra, actually put out a vinyl version of that uh, along with the CD, and uh, that really got me back into records. So I went out and uh, bought a uh, record player and actually had all my old records shipped out to me uh, <laughs> from my mom. Uh, and it's just an amazing experience. And I uh, urge kids to really, really get into that because there's nothing like it as pulling that that album out of the out of the jacket and out of the sleeve and putting it on the turntable. And that's that's a really unique experience. Uh, I love vinyl. Uh, there, there's a, a different sound to it, and it's a whole experience as opposed to just, you know, clicking something on your computer, uh, as great as that is and convenient as that is. Um, vinyl, there's, there's definitely a, a, a certain, you know, mystique to it, and I, I think it's great that vinyl is making a comeback, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. I prefer to listen to stuff on vinyl as opposed to any other medium. Um, so is well, yeah, there any chance the album could be released? I mean, if we if we were able to do that, that would be that would be fantastic. I would I would love to do that. Um, and um, I think more and more people are having the same experience or enjoying going to a record shop and you know kind of you know that's an, it, it's everything that's involved with with the record. It's going out and thumbing through albums and and getting and looking at the artwork and you know if you're fortunate to leave have the lyrics and all of that stuff we've lost that I think that w would love to see that make a comeback uh, in, a, in a big way and I think that that's all the problems with the music industry is that we have all these deluded artists and, and, and we've lost all the mystique and all of that with, with music and I hope to see that change yeah I know, I know you can always you know order vinyl off the internet, but mm -hmm. there's just something real about going to a record store and just finding oh, it yeah. in person yeah so, you know back in the, in the in the eighties uh <laughs> uh cassettes oh my gosh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I always preferred vinyl over the cassettes, you know yeah. um but geez, I remember like in you know in the mid eighties and stuff, I'd be at the record store every week and there was just this explosion of new artists and rock bands and metal coming out and uh I, I you know, I miss that. Uh hopefully that uh you know, that'll start again. Just not just not for metal or anything, but we need a musical revolution. we we something has got got to give. Yeah, it seems like in the past few years that has been happening. Like, I mean, just a lot of bands from the 80s getting back together or forming new bands or just getting out there again. Yeah, you know, live music, it will always be live music, and, and, and that's what's, uh, you know, exploring um, is still a strong point for any artist. Um, it just, you know, mainstream music to me has just gotten so bad. It's almost like the mid-90s again. <laughs> um, so we're, we're, we're flying the flag high for rock, you know, we were bringing rock back full force and, um, we just got to shove it in people's faces, you know, um, <laughs> yeah. like all this awful disposable pop music. Of course, we keep losing artists this year. This year seems to be a that's bad tough year for too. That. I mean, gosh, that's just, it's unbelievable that what has happened this year, it's, it's frightening. Yeah, like Bowie, Lemmy, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really is, yeah. So you just got to cherish uh, every day and, and, and be thankful for the music that, uh, you know, um, that we all grew up on and, and, and really, really uh, hold it dear to our hearts. Yeah, definitely. But there is also younger people that have kind of brought back the sound. Like, have you heard of Reckless Love from Finland? Yeah, you know a lot of the a lot of the uh, oh, there's so many great new young rock bands coming out, especially from Scandinavia. And that's always been kind of a hot spot for hot new young rock acts. Um, I, I've toured over there many times. And it's just the, the 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 scene and stuff over there, and 
uh, you know, rock and roll is alive and well. It's like, a, you know, America should should take notice of that. I uh, would love to see that. But, uh, yeah, that's a hotbed for, for great new bands, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. I, I love it because they're younger, but they're bringing back, like, the this type of music that we all love. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So... Anyway, Stacey, I kind of have a confession that I need to get out. Um, sure. So back, I actually saw you in Vegas during the Vegas Rock Hair Metal Awards show. Do you remember that? Uh, just this past one. Yeah. So okay. do you ever seen anyone that had, like, big hair that looked like they stepped out of, like, 1985 there? <laughs> uh, I don't remember much of that night. I was having a little bit too much fun. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was actually me. Like, I had big hair, leather pants, but I actually saw you, and I knew, I knew I knew who you were, but I just, I couldn't place it for the life of me, like, your name, and so I never got the chance to actually, like, say hi to you or anything, and I totally regretted it, but now I've got the chance to interview you. (laughs) I know, and this is awesome. Like, it has been an honor to interview you. Well, thank you, thank you. It's uh, it it is a small world at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, but it's awesome, um, and I can't wait to hear new music out of your out of Angels in Vain. Like, I love that new song you have, and I can't wait to see the video. Oh, the, yeah, 1973, fantastic song, and um, the video is going to be really great. Uh, we actually shot two videos uh, back on May 23rd. Um, we actually shot another video for uh, another song called. Um, uh, with me tonight, which is a great tune too. So we're going to keep releasing. I know people are just oh, the child. I want more music, want more music, you know. So we're we're really you know teasing, <laughs> torturing. Um, but uh, you know we're doing this very very um, uh, smart, and uh, it, that's why it's it's creating such a buzz with the band. And um, we we really want to you know stress that uh, we're so thankful for all the press and all the fans that have sh- taken such a shine to the band and, and supported the band. Uh, so, uh, you know, from, you know, bottom of my heart and the rest of the band, you know, um, we really want to say thank, thank you for, for people like your show, Jess, and, and, and all the other uh, you know, websites and radio that have gotten behind the band. It's been awesome. Yeah, it's been, it's, yeah, it seems like it's been crazy. Just people hearing the song and then loving it and then wanting to interview all of you. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, I, th- I think it's an exciting lineup and people are really digging what we're doing. So we're just going to keep doing it better, stronger, louder, faster, harder, uh, you name it, you know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, so do any of the songs have any kind of backstory that you'd like to share? Um, you know, Chris is mainly, uh, you know, the, the, the lyric writer, uh, for, for this stuff. And, um, you know, uh, the song that we have out now is kind of like the trappings of success and stardom. Uh, that's kind of, uh, the, the gist of, of lyrically, uh, of no one gets out alive. Um, and especially with what's been going on this year with, with, um, um, everything. So, uh, it's an interesting take on on um, you know uh, that that kind of situation. 1973 is kind of uh, how do I describe it. Well, the song's not out, so for me to, to talk about it, so I, uh, you know, maybe we'll do another interview when it comes out. So then I'll talk about that. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you would like everybody to know or add? Um, you know, look us up. Uh, we have uh, the website is live now, angelsinvain.com. We have some great merchandise. Uh, we've got some great guys' T-shirts and, and, and girls' T-shirts. Uh, we came out with uh, kind of the old baseball uh, long sleeve uh, sh- two-tone shirts, uh, which are, seem to be re- going over really, really, really well. So that is in conjunction with Rock and Roll Gangstar Apparel. Uh, that are making those um, great company, Daryl Boyd, that uh, we wear his stuff. Uh, there's the Facebook page is starting to blow up, and we've got Twitter. And, uh, yeah, just check us out. Check out the music. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great band, and, and like I said, we are 
moving as fast as we can. Uh, hopefully be touring by the fall, and we're just going to keep putting out more music. And uh, again, we, we thank everybody out there for, for taking such a shine to the band.